I think I'm back down to four. Last time I made a video, I had five in here. And guess what happened? Went right in my Nero 3. What is up, YouTube? Co reefing here. Just updating you guys on this tank. I don't think I've had an update on this one in a little bit. You guys probably notice three new clownfish swimming around. Those guys we actually got from reef stock. We got three clownfish with I think I think two of them are some sort of black eyes clownfish. We got all three of them for 50 bucks, which I didn't think was a bad deal. And I did have four clownfish in here. The other one being the oldest clown in this tank, which he was in here for about three and a half years, maybe. He passed away and it was sad, guys. Years of academy training wasted. Some of these corals are still doing okay. This is a little Ganiopora. And this wasn't coming out at all, but it seems to be coming back. Got this little green nem there just chilling. It seems to be doing fine as well. The anemones, I think I'm back down to four. Last time I made a video, I had five in here. And guess what happened? Went right in my Nero 3. Oh no, not again! So this tank actually got a water change for once. Because I don't do water changes on this tank, I only use those C Lab number 28 pills in here. And I'll just drop one in every like two weeks or so. And it seems to be doing fine. I don't have any sticks in here or anything crazy. The Xenia is taking over that one rock. It's almost like covered, to be honest. If you guys go back like a video, it was probably a third of this rock and now it's just engulfing it. We did pick up this Duncan coral that has like, I don't know, 15 heads for like 20 or 25 bucks, I wanna say. Maybe 30 at the most from reef stock. On this side, we still have the carpet nem just kind of hanging out. Seems to like that spot. And another anemone on this side. So there's three on the other side and one here. But yeah guys, just a quick little update on the 25 gallon water box peninsula. I did have to buy a new protein skimmer. Uh, that is the ice cap K1. I just got a direct replacement for the previous one. They were out of pumps and that is the only thing that broke on the previous model that I had. But of course, ice cap didn't have the pumps in stock and I couldn't find them anywhere online. So I got stuck just pur purchasing a whole new protein skimmer, which is fine. I mean, it's like a hundred bucks, I think. One thing that I am going to install and I got in the mail is this Inkbird with two temperature probes. It is the blue one. I know there's like a green one, I think. I think the green one's for like heating and cooling. And that blue one is for two heaters. So in case one ever goes out, you have the backup and you also have those two temperature probes to kind of give you an idea of where your takes temperatures at. I did get a six line RAS because my previous one died I don't know how he died oh actually he died in the previous tank temperature fluctuation but this guy seems to be fat and happy I guess. actually we actually got him from Petco for like 30 bucks which I didn't think that was bad and then we should have a sunrise dotty back somewhere it usually hides the tank seems to be doing fine other than that anemone swimming into my Nero when that did happen, I did replace all the carbon. I did replace the chemi pier that I do keep in the media basket as well. And I took out about 15 gallons. I think my three and a half year old clown died because 
of the toxins that the anemone released into the water. I mean, he died like the day of, if not the day after. So I'm guessing that was it, but I'm not 100% sure. He was swimming straight up and down, like vertically in like the same spot and kind of close to the surface of the water. When he would go down, he would kind of just stay in one spot and didn't do much, so. Yeah, uh, that sucked losing him, but we have three other Nemos in here that actually went uh, straight into the anemones because of the other Nemo that I had. He, he lived in them, and he kind of showed these three guys his ways, and they're always in the anemones as well. That's pretty cool. I didn't have to wait for these guys to kind of go and do that all by themselves. So that's another way to kind of show your clownfish on how to get into anemones, I guess. If you have one that does it, others might follow. I will let you guys get back to whatever you were doing. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. All right, guys. Co-briefing, out.